Hey everybody, what's up? How you doing? Today, we'll be continuing on our path on creating Pac-Man using Game Maker Studio 2. The plan of the day is to make level or map for our brave character to navigate using tiles and tile sets for a sort of critical collision system that interacts with those tiles. So without further ado, let's get this underway. First things first, we need to create a sprite to base the tile set on, which I'll call SPR tile walls. The tile set that I'll be using can be found in the description, though any tile set can be used for this specific purpose. You need to remember that the first tile in the set will always be blank in Game Maker if you're creating your own tiles. Each tile in this set is 32 by 32 pixels in size. Next, we create a tile set with the name TL Walls. Add the sprite to it, correct the size of each tile if need be, and proceed into the room. Here, we'll be creating a new tile layer in the Layers tab, which I'll call Map. Click on the Map layer, go to the Tiles tab on the right, and click No Tile Set, where we can choose the tile set that we just created. You can lay out the map however you want. You may go wild or just follow along with me. Things to remember when using Game Maker Studio's mapping system is that you can use Z to rotate each tile around and S to select a chunk of tiles and delete to delete the areas that you just selected. This will make working in the tile system easier as it will save time and won't need to create each rotation of each tile. To finalize this, we will need to click on the instances layer, change the grid side, grid X and grid Y, to 16 by 16 pixels, and place the player character in a way that it doesn't instantly collide with the walls as soon as it spawns. The reason that I'm changing the grid size here is because the player origin, the sprite origin, is in the center of the character, while the origin on the tiles are in the upper left corner. After we're done with the tiles, we can close the room and get started with the collision code. We create a script and give it a name. I'll later be putting multiple scripts here relevant to the player character, so subsequently I'll name it player scripts. Inside we'll change the function name to tile underscore meeting and have it need three variables. An X and Y position to check for collision and the name of the tile layer to check collision against. Script will be used in identical way as place underscore meeting would be used for checking collisions with objects. While I could try to explain the code in the scripts, I would rather suggest you to check out YoYo Games' own tech tutorial on tile best collision found in the description down below. I've only tweaked a little so that it will fit after the script to function changes in version 2.3. We won't have to use a precise tile checker as that would mess up the corridor movement we want to have. Finally. We need to have the player object use the collision code we just created. In the step event, after we check if the player character is moving and that the character uh, and the counter is above zero, remove everything in this block and add in the collision check. First, we want to start with the horizontal movement and see if in the next step in the character's movement, the current X position of the object plus the horizontal speed that the object had would be colliding with the tile. And if so, set the horizontal speed and the counter to zero.
Outside of this check, we can add the horizontal speed to the current X position. Then we do the exact same check for the Y position. Finally, at the end of all of this, we reduce the counter with a total move speed like before. And with that, we're done. Run it to test it out and see that it's working flawlessly. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, the like and subscribe helps me out immensely. If you have any suggestions for a future video, then don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below. So until next time, have a great time and a great day.